guys, it's Inga and today we are going to focus on Daniel chapter 8. So Daniel chapter 8 is a pretty short chapter and it focuses on one thing. It focuses on Daniel's vision. So Daniel gets a vision and he sees himself in the city of Susa. There is a ram with two horns and this ram is powerful. None of the other animals want to take on this ram. None of the other animals want to challenge this ram because he just did whatever he wanted and became more powerful. There was a male goat that was angered by this. And this goat had one horn in between his eyes and he attacked the ram. The ram wasn't strong enough to stop the attack and the goat then became the most powerful animal. The goat attacked the ram and then trampled on the ram. As this goat became strong, his horn broke and four horns grew in that place. Out of one of the four horns, a little horn grew and this horn grew high into the sky. Daniel chapter 8 verse 10 says, That little horn grew until it reached the sky. It even threw some of the army of heaven to the ground and walked on them. So Daniel was now confused. He didn't know what this vision was about. He didn't know what to make of it. And he says he saw a guy standing close to him and he heard a voice saying, Gabriel, explain the vision to this man. Gabriel then goes on to explain the vision to Daniel and says that he must understand that this vision is about the time of the end. He also says this vision was about the set time of the end. Another thing he mentions is that the ram with the two horns represented Persia and Media. They represented the kings of Persia and Media. And the male goat is the king of Greece. So if you want to read more on Daniel's vision, I encourage you to read Daniel chapter 8. Speaking of the end times, it brings cruelty, destruction, lies and force. And it, it just opens your eyes to, to see that what is to come. So I encourage you to read Daniel chapter 8.